All right, so we're here at our local hardware store this morning. Good morning, fellas. How can I help you today? Uh, we need some screws, some shims. Well, we got some sale items here over on the side on the uh, end cap, and then uh, back here in aisle 17, we got some specials if you want to check those out. Okay. Where's the clearance aisle? Uh, clearance is back here in the back. It's uh, the free aisle. 29. How about the free aisle? Yeah, we'll, that's we'll look for the free aisle. Free aisle. Well, do you have your card? <laughs> yeah. Well, I got some stuff you might be interested in, like right here. These already opened shims. I'm yeah. running a special on those because they're already opened. Perfect. No package. Hey. Perfect. No returns. No returns. No returns on the opened items. Oh. Um, got some other damage, bent, broken um, stuff here. Let's see. Um, well, something like this. We we got a mixed bag here. You know okay. that that can go. You know if you can carry it out, you can have it. If we can carry it out, we can have it. He it's said. Kind of, it's kind of one of those things. Uh, got the laser level. Oh my God, that laser. That's on rental. Rental only. You got to fill out a form. Hey, wait, you gotta fill out the paper for that. Hey, uh, use your name, not mine. And uh, credit card, gonna have to have like uh Yeah, what's this piece of crap fan doing in the back of my truck? I don't know, put it in the shop or something. Your shop? Yeah, it's going in my shop. I don't want that thing. Think I'm gonna let you have this thing? That fine, beautiful thing? Yeah. Jamie, give that to you? Yeah. Probably doesn't even work. Everything he gives you doesn't work. I know. Dude, you actually brought your tools today? Yeah. And I your figured, tool belt? Yeah, I figured it might be a good idea. You realize all we need is uh, a drill. I know, but I just want to look cool. Okay. Well, make me look cool. you're not wearing that around my cabinets. Because I thought we're all car. Oh, yeah, I am going to drag this in. Dude, no, <laughs> you're not wearing that around my cabinets. Look at that stole tape measure. Look at that bad boy. Man, that's a freshie right there. Big numbers. Yeah, that's not going to help you, though. It's for the old guy like me. I think this is yours. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> All right, so one thing that I forgot we needed was a tapered drill bit. So we gotta go to Ace and okay, get that. which, just for the record, I did ask you already while, I know. We're, while we're at the other hardware store. I Perkins, forgot Perkins a broke If you had one, you said, oh, I got one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So where I are we going? I do have one, it's just broke. Oh, there you go, that yeah. So we're going to the other Ace hardware. Yeah. But, dude, I don't think they like me there. What are you talking about? Dude, every time I'm in there, they're just so mean to me. Dude, they're mean to everyone. I think as long as, if you're not Jamie Perkins, I think they're mean to you. He walks in, they like roll out a carpet and throw flowers down and stuff. Uh, they like clear the aisles for him. Everybody out, Jamie Perkins is here shopping. Everybody out. Bro, it's way too early for this. It's 8.30. So I got this new knife. Yeah, it's Which is nice. cool, yeah. But there's a problem. What? You need a knife to get into the knife and I don't have a knife. So now I can't use my new knife because I don't have an old knife. You're screwed. We can go back and buy another one. How am I gonna get into that knife though if I can't open this knife? Becca! We're home! Great. Great. <laughs> we all know that Coda now is your dog and that you took him away from Ray. So I see now he's got this cat and he wants a dog so bad he's got the cat eating dog food. Is he trying to turn the cat into a dog? Yeah, I mean, he really thinks he's making progress. <laughs> so this is Ray's way of getting his old, another dog is that he got a cat and he's gonna turn the cat into a dog. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're... Hey! Wait, really? I'm really? making breakfast. Quiet on this set over here. Now we're really back. Um, so today is a big day because we're gonna actually attach these cabinets to the wall to each other. I've been <laughs> dreaming about this day for like a year. Yeah? Yeah. We haven't even been working on it for a year. It feels like a year. <laughs> Alright, so we have a few problems already that I'm already noticing. One, this cabinet is pushed all the way back, but at the top there's a gap up against the wall. So I don't know if the walls are level or not, the floor or it's definitely not the cabinet. I mean, we built those things Dude, to those, perfection. Those so square as can be. Yeah, though. we got this problem over here. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Hey. Wow. What are you doing? You can't have that. Yeah, I think your cat really likes me. 
You keep, why is you keep she... trying to get close to me. All right, but the problem is... Wait, wait, But she's not real level, though. She's a little bit off. Yeah, well, she's in the way. The one spot that we have to look at, which is this corner, she's just... She has to stand there. Did you get, like, a freaking circus in this house? So, the first step was to find the cabinet with the highest point against the wall. We set the laser level to that point so that we would have a reference that would make sure that we got all the backs lined up and level. Um, so we're definitely off to a slow start this morning. So we have our stud finder that we're going to need. But the one problem that we've run into is this. If you can read that, that says 9 volt battery not included. Um, we're just going around Ray's house and we're just ripping down smoke detectors. And I don't know what he's got here. I think that might be the... What is that? The... That's a 9 volt. Uh, no, it doesn't work. All right, so now we don't have a stud finder. I guess I gotta We're run and get a battery. Search, man. Anything else around here we can rip off the wall? All right, so I went to Walgreens. Walgreens? Oh, I wanted to get some glasses. Oh, yeah, those <laughs> ones you had? On, yeah. yeah, those were rough. So I got a nine volts. <laughs> oh. No, cat! Um, we should probably see if it works. Why don't you test it? Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, she works. Let me test it. Wait, don't, no, don't. Let's not do that. That joke's getting old. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. Okay, so now that we have our point over here, which is the highest cabinet, lined out and marked with the laser level, that is very shaky. Oh, come on. Dude. Robo call, bro, I can't help it. United States is calling me. Hello, is this United States? Nobody. So we're not going to start here, though. We're going to start with the corner cabinet. So we're going to move these out of the way and begin there. And hopefully we don't run into too much trouble. After running around Bryson City all morning long to gather everything we needed, we are finally ready to put these things together. But you know, sometimes the hardest thing to do is to just get started. We have our first one ready to go. That one's screwed against the wall. Everything is level on it. We got our second one over here, clamped down, put some shims under it because it needed it in the front. And the next step is to screw it down, but also screw down the face frames. We were really moving now. The first step to attaching the other cabinets was to make sure that the face frames all aligned on the bottom. That's what you're going to see, so you want them all to be flush on the bottom. After that was clamped, drilled, and screwed, we added shims around the rest of the cabinet until level and screwed the cabinet to the studs in the wall. Man, you know what they say. What? That's some hard wood. All wood, sorry. Man, you're going from like baby's first kitchen to like Daddy's first kitchen. All of those cabinets are installed. Next, we got to measure for the oven. Oven, what's that? What's an oven? Stove, oven, oh. stove top, oven. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're not going to move it there today. No. Because I ain't got electricity hooked up there yet. Yeah, I ain't got no, I got no, no, no electricity hung up yet. One thing that I already know is that Somewhere in my planning of outlets, I uh, messed up on this one. So it's in the wrong spot. But what's nice is that, you know, I didn't finish drywalling here. Yeah, so. so I can just cut a chunk, move it to this stud right here, mm -hmm. and patch it whenever I do the rest of this drywall. So We're good to go. No big deal. No harm, no foul. Man, it's already 11.02. Dude, it's almost my nap time. Yeah, you better get there, there sleepyhead. Also, before we install this cabinet here, we actually need to put in another piece of subfloor for underlayment. Um, so we need to rip up the rest of this particle board here. One thing we noticed once we removed some of this laminate flooring is that there's actually plywood uh, in hopefully the rest of the house. It looks like maybe just some of the section was particle board, which I definitely want to get rid of. Plywood, I think I'll be okay with. We don't have to do OSB. Yo, I'll catch you later. Hey, 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 hey man. Dude, that's my Mountain Dew, bro. Nana's out of town, bro. She hasn't gotten to the store yet. Well, what do you think this is? Hey, just like- Raymart? Just like <laughs> Raymart. It's like shopping at Jamie's, baby. All right, so. <laughs> 
Sorry. So I get to take things from your house too, right? You can have anything you want. I'll take the boat, the camper. <laughs> And once we got the old piece of particle board out of the way and plopped down a new piece of Devantech, we were ready to go ahead and install the final cabinet and move on to countertops. So we're here and we're measuring the uh, plywood that we're going to put on top of these cabinets and everything looks pretty square. Yeah, I think we might run into a small problem in that back corner. What do you mean? Dude, you don't trust my drywalling skills? Yeah, I do. Dude, I just I'm, think it must be the framing that's off. I'm the pro mutter man. So after taking the measurements that we needed, we went downstairs to my shop and began cutting up some of the Advantech that was left over from the previous job that we're working on that the Perkins decided to give me. Once we cut them all down to size, we carried them back upstairs and checked the fit. Dude, that corner looks just fine, man. That's perfect. Mm, I don't know if it's Perkins perfect, but I guess it's Jones perfect. Yeah. It's oh. definitely Ella's perfect. 100% <laughs> Ella's perfect. We're getting ready to shoot and glue down these uh, plywood countertops here. And uh, look what we got here. A nice new air hose. Yep, we got that from the... Perkins hardware store. Yep, yep. Jamie felt bad because all the ones that he gave me were <laughs> crap, so he bought me a, a nice little setup here. We almost forgot to make sure that the OSB was level after putting it on. I know we keep calling OSB plywood, but we kind of use those words interchangeably, so please forgive us. Luckily, everything was good to go. All right, so we have our line chalked here to where we're gonna, we can nail it in the center of the framing. The only thing is, is if I screw up and we have a blowout, I'm in trouble. Yep. So, say your prayers. The slightest, slightest. What? There's no nails. <laughs> Ain't no nothing there, down there. Take two. Good. All right, so what happens when you blow out the front? This. This right here. It's just a little guy though. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. You need to slow down, bro. Dude, I, I just want, want to get this over with. After getting this first section done, Jason actually had to leave. He recorded his explanation, but he oftentimes has this problem where he starts talking before he hits the record button. So I missed the first sentence that he said. Luckily, the GoPro was recording. Hey, I go run and get some balls real quick. Some balls? STMI, man. Baseballs. Oh, gotcha. You know, my son plays ball, and I don't know if any of y'all out there ever search and see how much baseballs are, but they're super expensive. So I'm gonna go grab some balls, and I'll be right back. Uh. I mean, I'm gonna be done with this by the time you get back, so. I, well, I don't want you to go too fast because I see what happens when you try to rush. So if you want me to stick around, ah, I just lost my video. Oh, I lost my video back in, so. I don't want you to go too fast, so take your time. Uh-huh. Go slow. Yeah. Perkins perfection we want, not Ellis perfection. Oh, I've seen Perkins blow some out before. Oh, he blows a lot out, you know what I'm saying? You got that, big boy? Yeah. Oh, I gotta come back anyways, because I gotta give you videos. Oh, yeah. And I gotta carry that freaking AC downstairs. So I'll be right back. Hey, you're not carrying that. Oh, I am gonna carry, you watch, I'll be right back. While Jason was gone, I kept working. One thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that I'm not only nailing down this OSB, but I'm also gluing it down as well. All right, and they're all done. Dude, Becca's gonna love these, man. Dude, she gonna love it. You know what the good thing is though? What? Dude, you're ready for Thanksgiving. Dude, I'm definitely having Thanksgiving this year. We'll see about next year. All right, so it's the next day, and uh, Becca came home late last night, and I was asleep before she got home, so I didn't get to record her reaction to these uh, new countertops, but what do you think? I mean, wait, new countertops. These aren't like the final countertops. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So what we're actually gonna do on these countertops 
which these are just intermediate countertops for now, but they are also part of the final project. So we're actually gonna make these countertops the way that Jamie made them at the Modern Mountain Getaway. So there's gonna be two layers of plywood and then a quarter inch of wood on top that is gonna be strips that I'm probably gonna use my flooring for. So, stay tuned for that. That'll be maybe in a few weeks, we'll see. But for today, we need to get this whole section secured. So that means placing it, uh, attaching this cabinet, and also hopefully getting a coat of primer and a couple coats of paint so that it is done. First step, we are going to pull this dishwasher out, clear off the cabinets, remove the count, well, we actually gotta remove the sink first, then remove the countertops, and then we're going to get this piece situated where it needs to go. We wanna make sure that that is lined up with this. So let's do that first. Okay. I wasn't gonna tackle the island this week, but I'm really wanting Thanksgiving dinner, so I need to get this done. Problem is, it ended up being way more work than I thought it was gonna be. So we got our measurement down here where this piece of paneling needs to go, but we're gonna go ahead and, uh, well, do you wanna, do you wanna remove this piece of plywood here? I sure do. All right, go for it. Okay. When I was measuring where to put the uh, the piece of blocking that this paneling is gonna connect to, I accidentally measured from this line, which was the line that I had originally, but it was wrong, and it was supposed to be this line. And Becca actually looked at it and said, hey, did you mean to do that? Because that looks about an inch, and it's a half inch plywood, and she was right, so. Good thing I have you around. Basically a carpenter now. <laughs> I just realized I can't actually put a piece of blocking into the floor here because the dishwasher has to slide into that spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of paneling here that was previous layer and I'm just gonna screw or drill some uh, pocket hole holes and put some pocket hole screws into it through the floor. Typically, whenever you install cabinets that are going to be in the island, you want to screw down a piece of blocking around the perimeter of the base on the inside of the cabinets. You do that because there's no wall around for them to attach to, and if you don't, then your cabinets are just going to be sitting there and can be easily moved. Now we have our side panel on here, and we're going to stick the dishwasher back in there, and then move this guy tight to the dishwasher. So. We're getting somewhere. I'm doing things. Yeah, you're doing some things. Well, a lot of things. I feel like I'm doing a lot of things. So we got the dishwasher installed and we shoved the sink base cabinet over to where it needed to go as well. And then I started to realize there was a problem and I was not prepared for it at the time. It's a couple hours later. I had to take a break because I ran into a problem that really got me flustered, but we figured it out. Here is what the problem is. So, if you guys remember, I installed these lights at the places where these lights were gonna go a long time ago, and I centered them on this island, okay? So, we got to this part. That one looks pretty good. And then I came over here and I was like, uh, that one's not quite right. And then I came over here and I was like, that one sure ain't right. And I couldn't figure out what was going on, so I just took a break. But here's what happened. So I drew up the plans for the kitchen, what, five months, months ago? Months ago. <laughs> and I forgot that I was going to cut this cabinet, which is a 42 inch cabinet, down to a 36. So that was my problem. <laughs> but now I got it figured out. Yeah. I just needed to take a little rest oh, yeah <laughs> take a little nap <laughs> yeah a little, it was a nap it, i did take another nap so anyway we're uh good to go i definitely wasn't looking forward to having to modify this cabinet but it's a lot better than me having to move lights if i had known that i was gonna have to modify this cabinet i probably wouldn't started this project this weekend i got that up part over with looks really awesome yeah now we just got to build it back so Let's get to that.
Okay, so it's the next day, and last night I realized that my time-lapse battery died, so you weren't able to see what I actually got done, but I was able to cut down this cabinet. I got everything here situated. Next step, I need to actually attach this cabinet to this one. Then we're going to come over here on the back and put a back paneling that's gonna go across all of these. And then we should be ready to put the counter on top. So I went ahead and attached the final cabinet, which was a pretty big relief, and then moved on to installing the back panel. Now it was actually time to start taking measurements for the countertop. So now it's time to put the countertop on. One thing is, is that I am going to have a bar on this side that's going to have about a foot and a half overhang, probably going to go with 15 inches instead, uh, seeing how that's standard according to what I looked up. but. We'll see. I mean, I don't think I can get this piece of plywood up here to cut the countertop. Becca! Hey, can you help me get this on this table here? Jason! Oh, <laughs> well, he's not here. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> so we went ahead and got the countertop installed, but next was the tricky part. Next step is to actually cut the hole for the sink, which, uh has to be pretty perfect, so I'm gonna have to uh, double check everything. So I measured everything out, and I double checked it all, made sure everything was centered on the cabinet, and then I got my jigsaw and cut away. Okay, so the hole's cut out. The question is, does the sink fit? Oh yeah. So the next step is to actually hook up all this plumbing and stuff back up so that we can actually have our sink working again. This plumbing is not the final plumbing. When I moved the island over here months ago, just temporarily hooked up some plumbing and I'm gonna reconnect it right now because I don't feel like messing with plumbing this weekend. Now it was time to put a coat of primer on the cabinets that hadn't been painted and put a coat of poly on the cabinets that had already been painted. Once the primer had dried, I went and put a coat of the final paint on those cabinets and I repeated the process until all the cabinets had two coats of paint and two coats of poly. And here we go, the finished product. Well, not necessarily the finished product, but everything we got done that weekend. So. What do you think? I love it. I, there's so much counter space. I'm gonna have so much storage. I get to buy so many more things to fill up the kitchen. So super excited about that. Well, she loves it. Coda loves it. Ember loves it. She's not supposed to be on the counter. Yeah, what are you doing? Get off. So next weekend, we're going to start working on the actual drawers. Hopefully we can get those done in a weekend. After that, countertops, and we'll really start moving along, hopefully. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to stay tuned to what's happening during this remodel process and the remodel of our whole house. So we'll see you next time.